the Fluke 810 vibration tester. Today we're going to uh, set up a, a new machine. The, the three steps in using the 810 are the setup, the measurement, and the diagnosis. So we're going to select new machine, set up a new machine, and we're going to call it pump three. And then once we've entered the name pump three, we say done. And we go to next. And now we're ready to start doing the setup, which is essentially answering questions. So the first question it wants to know to characterize our drivetrain is what type of motor, AC or DC? So we, we have an AC motor. We do not have a VFD, so we're going to say no. We're going to input the key, this 1800 RPM rotation speed. And the horsepower, this is a 40 horse motor. And it's mounted horizontally, so we can say yes. The bearing type is roller. Uh, it is not, the motor is not detached from the drive. And uh, it is not close coupled, so we'll say no. Is there a coupling between the motor and the next component? Yes. And what is the next component? In this case, it's a pump, so we just select pump. And then it wants to know for the next component, is it a roller bearing or a journal bearing? In this case, it's a roller bearing. And uh, pump type, we have several choices, propeller, sliding vane, etc. We're going to select centrifugal. And it's supported by two bearings. And this, in this case, he wants to know how many veins the pump has. And uh, if we don't know, uh, this is optional, so if we don't know the number, uh, it's better to leave it blank. In this case, we, we know there's four, so we're going to input four. And uh, we're ready to finish our, and save our setup. So it's saving it says it successfully saved it, and now we're ready to measure. So that's how we actually go through the setup and answer the questions to characterize uh, how the, uh, our motor and pump are set up. 